So look, we are starting a brand new series, or kind of like brand new, we're gonna talk about this for two weeks. We're actually gonna talk about relationships for the next two weeks. Uh, I wanna talk about them because especially in middle school, we all think we wanna have relationships because we feel like we, we wanna fill the void or you think that this person that you're gonna be with is gonna be with you till marriage or whatever. But uh, today I wanna to talk about relationships and I actually wanna define what a relationship is because I feel like a lot of us have the wrong idea of what a relationship is. So dating or a relationship is a stage of romantic relationships whereby two people meet socially with the aim of each accessing the other's suitability as a pers or as a prospective partner in the future or in an intimate relationship slash marriage. So to dumb this down, a relationship is whenever a guy and a girl is together and they are going out outside of school socially and seeing each other uh seeing each other yeah that's what i was gonna say um but i have a question for you if if you, if the end result for marriage or for a relationship or dating is marriage why are you dating the person you're dating right now i want to give you a statistic just to kind of kind of keep your mind fresh here's a statistic out of most relationships in middle school only 10 percent will make it to high school. So out of the three years you have in middle school, 10% of all the relationships that are in middle school will make it to only high school. Only 10% of those relationships are gonna make it to high school. And of that, 8% will last in high school. And then of that 8%, 5% make it past high school, out of high school, where you leave 3% that end in, or that go to marriage, but end in divorce. And only 2% make it all the way through high school, all the way to marriage, and stay married. Now, yeah. So, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of give you an idea. I don't want to discourage you and be like, oh, I, or I, I don't want to like shame you for what you're doing. But I just, I want to give you an idea of what you're actually doing. Because whenever you're in, in a relationship with someone, you are devoting time with them. You are putting, and this, I, this, this is just from a relationship that, or a relationship that will have boundaries or not have boundaries but have foundations is that you're putting that person above you so that person's needs are going to be above your needs all right and you should and whenever you are in a relationship you're not doing you're not serving one person and then uh serving this one guy 50 percent, but then the other person putting in 100 percent. a relationship is when you put 100 percent on both sides not one person doing more work than the other person a relationship Amen. should be 100% for both sides. Now, I want to talk about, like, the first thing I kind of want to talk about in relationships. I'm going to give you guys two things about relationships today. The first thing I want to talk about is the foundation of your relationship. Now, yes, in middle school we say, well, we have foundations. No, you don't. Um, foundation is not like the makeup that people use. I think that's what it is. I don't know. I'm not really sure about makeup. Yeah, there you go. See? Um, but I want, to take, I want to take a look at a passage from the Bible. Uh, it's a uh, parable, which a parable is an earthly story with a heavenly meaning, and it's when Jesus is talking about a foundation. Now, it's in Matthew 7, 24, verses, or yeah, Matthew 7, 24 through 27. It says, therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice like a wise man who built his house on a rock, the rains came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat up against the house. Yet it did not fall because it had, a, had its foundation on a rock. Now, the next verse says, but everyone who hears these words of mine but does not put it into practice is like a foolish man who has built, who has built his house on the sand. The rains came down, the streams arose, and the winds blew and beat up against the house, and it fell with a loud, grave crash. Now, why is it that the biggest breakups are always the breakups that had no foundation whatsoever? Like, if you think about it, the biggest, the biggest type, the biggest relationships that when they end, the things that have the most drama are usually the relationships that never had the best kind of foundation. And I wanna ask you, what's your foundation in your relationship? Is your relationship founded on love or is it founded on lust? Are you lusting over that person? And the only reason why you're with that person is because of how they look and how their appearance is? Are you lusting over them? Or are you actually trying, you know what, hey, I actually want to be with this person, not because of who they or of, of how they look, but because of who they are, and regardless of what they've done. Now, you see, this part of scripture can also be 
used towards relationships as we see, but we, it can also be used uh, along with uh, how you build your life. And so maybe you say, well, my bae would never do that. And you, do you know your bae? Like, do you know your boyfriend? Like, like, come on. Like, a lot of us try and say that, oh, my relationship is founded on God. God first, all that. Is it though? Is it? Yeah. Is it really? Is it I mean, like, when was the last time, if you, if you say that your relationship is founded on God, when was the last time you prayed with each other? If you're saying that your relationship is founded on God, has a foundation with God, when was the last time you guys actually went together and worshiped? If your relationship is founded on God, when was the last time you prayed for the other one? You see, a lot of us try to say, well, my relationship is founded on God. It's not like this, but you don't do anything. You don't have anything to do with God in your relationship. Now, I want to talk about the next thing we talked about. It, it, when we talk about foundation, what your foundation is. What is your relationship founded on? The next thing I want to talk about is boundaries in a relationship. Because a relationship without boundaries is like you going into a test without studying. It's going to fail, it's going to get hurt, and someone's going to end up in pain. Now, the first boundary that you need to have in your relationship, I'm only going to give you two because I don't want to take too much time up, but is God has to come first. If you want your relationship to be founded upon God, if you want your relationship with the guy or girl you with, if you want it to be founded on God, it, God has to be first. It cannot be, God cannot come second because once God comes second, He's going to rock that relationship. He's going to say, all right, you know what? <laughs> That's not going to work. And he kicks it. I have, I have sadly gone through a relationship in like February. We're not going to talk about it. But, um, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it wasn't founded on God. And now since my foundation wasn't right, the winds came and the streams went and the relationship fell. And I'm still battling with the consequences to this day. Now, was that person crazy? A little. But, <laughs> but since the foundation wasn't correct, if the, the foundation wasn't strong, it rocked, it broke. And so a lot of us have a foundation of lust and you're just lusting over that person instead of actually having boundaries and saying, all right, you know what? This is what's happening with me. This is kind of the th kind of things I struggle with in my relationship. Let's put up boundaries so we can stop this from happening. So we don't go past that boundary. Now, um, the next thing you can do, again, is you have to know each other's weaknesses. Because without knowing someone else's weakness, you're not going to be, you're going to be able to, pat, you're, you'll pass the week, you're like messing them up, right? Like take it, take it as with war, right? In a war, whenever you are fighting the other, uh, the other people, whatever, you need, you want to know their weakness so that you're able to either, to stop, like to stop them, right? Right? Maybe? Kind of? Yeah. Yeah. So in a relationship, you need to know the other's weakness so you don't hurt the other person. I'm running out of time. Okay. So you don't hurt the other person because, oh, I want to talk about this, sorry. Okay, so in a relationship, if you battle with lust, I'm going to tell you this now, people are not going to like this. Kissing that person is not going to help you. Kissing that person will actually lead you towards lust, and then it will lead you down a path of, all right, now let's get even more intimate. It's just like an addiction. Because when you start, you start off with that addiction. It's not a, it's not, it's not that easy. It's not that bad. You know, just looking at pictures. But over time, it turns into videos, and then those videos get more graphic, and then those graphic videos start to turn into how you're looking at that person. And so whenever you go and you're starting to kiss someone, this thing, this stuff called dopamine starts going through your system. It starts pumping through your brain, and this adrenaline goes through, and then one thing leads to another. And now one person is battling with something, and now you have long-term consequences. That's why you put up boundaries in the first place, especially if you deal with lust in your relationship. Boundaries need to be up front. Like, this is what I struggle with. This is, this is the type of stuff that I have weakness in. We need to make sure that this doesn't go further. So the relationships that are, let's, for the people that are in the room that are in a relationship, kissing in middle school, one, is stupid. Because it's most likely, the, another statistic says that most relationships in middle school last two to three months. So you're only, it's only going to be two to three months, and yet you're kissing and making out with this person. Now, in the Bible, it talks about how when you have, the Bible talks about when you have sex with someone, it's like you're giving another part, you're giving part of yourself to someone else. I'm going to say the same thing about kissing. 
because you are coming to you are coming together and you're kissing the other person, right? And it leaves a, a long term effect because you now you remember that and you're playing that in your mind. So now when the breakup comes, because it will, because <laughs> when the breakup comes, which it will, and, and I'm telling you, most relationships will last two to three months. When it comes, the breakup's going to be even worse, and now the pain's going to be even worse because you overstepped your boundaries. Now, I want to I want to give you I want to highlight the uh, the things we've been talking about before we run out of time because I have like five minutes left. So the first thing we need to have in a relationship is a foundation, a godly foundation, not this not those kinds of foundations like the Instagram bio that says God first, but they never put God first in their life and they're not even reading the Bible actively. I'm talking about a relationship that's founded upon God. That the first thing you're doing is not texting that guy. The last thing you're not doing that night is staying up with them till 2 a.m. I'm talking about when you have a godly foundation that is God coming first. That means God is going to be the center of, the, of your relationship. The first thing you do in the way, and when you wake up should be you reading the Bible. And I'm not, I'm not saying that oh, I do this all the time. I struggle with doing that too. But when you read your Bible at the beginning, like in the morning, I, I'd say it's like brushing your teeth, morning and night. You read the Bible in the morning, you're able to help. It helps you go through your day. That should be the next thing. The next thing you should do is yes, then you can text that person. Now at night, instead of staying up with that person until 2 a.m., and I can tell you this, staying up with, the, staying up with someone on the phone until 2 a.m. is not smart either. Because when you get the, because, get in there. Because, point, because as the night, as you get further into the night without sleep, your mind starts, is not as sharp as it was five hours ago. Because you're, you're tired, your mind isn't functioning as well as, sh as it should be. So then you could go and you can make mistakes. I can tell you that staying up late, well, one, it'll mess up your sleep schedule for sure. Um, yeah, but it, you can also, you'll also end up doing stuff you could regret as well. The next thing we talked about, the next thing we talked about in our boundaries was, or we talked about boundaries, and then other boundary we set was you need to be aware of each other's weaknesses. So if that person is struggling with lust. Anything that could help, that could lead them towards lust, anything that could lead towards sex, anything that can lead towards making out, keep it away. Because sex was designed for marriage. God designed sex, right? We know this. God designed it. But whenever you are having sex with someone outside of marriage, you are giving a piece of yourself to that person. That's why when you see all these all these actresses or all these, I guess you can call it porn stars, that are going around and giving themselves to other people, they're never complete. Keeping it real. Because you, do you ever see those, those porn stars actually fully happy? No. No, because they're giving themselves to other people. Whenever you give yourself to another person, you're losing a part of yourself as well. That's why these one night, the one night stands that happen never fully fulfill someone. Now look, it, it's no, I'm not gonna say that. Okay. So we've gone over boundaries, we've gone over foundation. Maybe you're not in a relationship now. Keep this in the back of your mind, keep this in the back pocket. Remember, we post we, we have these videos out so that you guys can rewatch it. Because we can't we don't usually take notes during lunch, you know, that's like that's thing we can do. So Remember, we talked about boundaries. We talked about foundation. If you're no, if you're not even in a relationship now, you can keep this in your back pocket. Remember it. All right. All right. Cool. We're gonna pray. Bow your heads, close your eyes. We're gonna talk. We're gonna pray, and then we're gonna go. All right. Dear God, I thank you for this day. Thank you for what you bless us with, Lord. I pray for our relationships, God. Lord, I pray that you bless them. Lord, I pray that if a relationship is happening that is not that should not be happening. Lord, give the people the wisdom, give them the wisdom to kind of go over that talk. Lord, I pray for any found, any foundations of a relationship that is not built on you, that wants to be built on you. Lord, I pray that you give them the guidance, give them the wisdom to build it upon you. Lord, I pray that you allow us to put up boundaries on our relationships. Lord, I pray that you keep us safe this week and guide us each still we do. In the name we pray, amen. Amen. All right. Thank you.